Hello friends, today I would like to teach you Albin's Counter Gambit. It's a very rich opening that consists a lot of tricks and traps inside it. Even if you think that after this video you don't want to be playing this with black, you must know how to react correctly and play versus this opening. Occasionally we see this even at the top rated playing games. And it starts with white playing d2 to d4, d5, c4 queen's gambit, and black offers a free pawn on e5. So white is gladly accepting that with the biggest smile on his face, and black plays d4. Now, if you have never seen this position before, you might think that e3 is a good way to start. You're just pressuring this pawn and, well, if black would take, we just exchange the queens and enter this beautiful end game, simply pawn up, good game for white. However, black here plays bishop b4. In fact, this position is already bad for white. And now let's see what happens if he blocks with a check. Well, now there is in-between move, shocking move, takes on e3. Isn't that a free bishop, you might ask? Well, we, if we take here, then pawn takes f2. Now we notice that if we take the pawn, we lose the queen. So we have to go forward. And now a very, very visually pleasing me for black, which we, sh we see quite rare, I would say. Black is taking the knight and promoting it into a knight. So now if rook g1, there is bishop to g4 winning the queen. So what to do after knight g1? Well, you can try going back on e1. And here, queen to h4. Again, king has to go somewhere, exactly. Maybe you have to go to d2, because if you play g3, there is this common fork on the king and the rook. And after king to d2, we have something like knight c6, and black is simply winning. So the game might start uh, with bishop to c3, bishop to g4, Queen is under attack, say here and here, and black is just completely dominating and winning the game. So that's the most common trap in the line. Now, um, it doesn't help us to block it with the knight. Black still has a pleasant game. So for example, takes here, takes here, same check on h4, g3, and a queen e4. You cannot take due to the pin. Rook is under attack, so white plays queen f3. And now we simply take on e5, and um, again, this is a weak pawn. Black will develop very nicely and won't probably have any problems uh, developing the pieces onto the very active squares on the board. And on the other hand, white has a little bit tr troublesome of placing the pieces very actively. So how to play versus that if that's such a good opening for black? Well, we have to start with knight to f3. Now, black is going to start pressuring this pawn. His main ideas are connected to winning the pawn back with ideas like knight e7 and knight g6. And there are a couple of ways of playing here. Now, there are three main moves I would say here, which would be g3, a3, and the rarest, but probably uh, the new fashion perhaps even, knight b to d2. And that's the move that I'm going to recommend. What's the idea of this move? Well, I want to just simply play knight b3 and attack the pawn three times. So I'm not giving him an easy way of uh, having a lot of time to put pressure on my e5 pawn. I'm going to attack his d4 pawn first. Now black plays knight g7 and we go knight b3. So here he plays knight f5, seemingly guarding the pawn. If we play g4, uh, black can simply play knight g4. And uh, if, say, knight takes h4, queen takes h4, he does have a compensation. As you can see, this pawn now is hanging. And in case of something like knight g takes here, uh, he could already take on e5. And if they, in case of knight takes here, you could already take on f3, take on f3. And this position is simply good for black. Well, I would say close maybe to equality, but black definitely has no problems there. So instead of playing g4 and kicking the knight out, we're going to play the other way. We're going to play e4. And this time, if the knight goes to h4, I can simply take this without anything hanging there on g4. And if you play something like knight e5, we have many ways to get advantage here. We could even play f4 at worst. Kicking the knight out, perhaps he has in between move like here, we move it away. And uh, there is a messy position here, but uh, lots of pieces are starting to hang for the white. So if, say, knight g2, um, we're going to win a piece. And uh, if he takes, 
and we could simply take with the queen and have the most beautiful center we have ever seen so after e4 people take en passant and now we can take the queen knight takes d8 pawn takes e3 and this endgame is something that is good for white just gonna show you a couple of ways to develop the pieces white wants to put the bishop on c3 to guard the e5 pawn king f2 before that we cannot play bishop c3 because the pawn would be hanging and white just wants to play moves like h3 prophylaxis bishop d3 put the rooks and double on the d file and is playing this position a pawn up so hope you can implement this into your game if you don't like this with black you will know how to play versus that with white and get a good position if you think that that's something you want to try and win the games fast in your blitz and bull trap repertoires okay um, if you did enjoy the video please do subscribe to my chess channel I will be uploading more content and I hope that you're going to stay healthy, continue loving the game and play chess. See you tomorrow in the next video.